You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Hello and welcome again to CNA Heroes. My name is Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. There are over 1 million CNAs in this country working in nursing care facilities, assisted living facilities, hospitals, home health, hospice, and a variety of other settings. The role of a CNA, assisted living caregiver, home health or hospice aide, or patient care technician is very stressful and demanding. There are also many people depending on you for anything from a glass of water to life-sustaining care. That's a great deal of pressure. So in addition to the routine demands of the work, there are also supervisors to answer to, and sadly, there are often fewer CNAs than scheduled to do the work, increasing the workload. Because of the physical and emotional demands of the work, some CNAs take a break from the caregiving role and work other jobs to regroup. Thank you to the South Platte Sentinel for originally publishing this story. It was a busy and warm 4th of July, 2015, in Sterling, Colorado. Tamara Suazo, a CNA, was working as a housekeeper at the Best Western Sundowner Hotel she was done with her duties, and she was clocking out about 3 p.m. She was walking down a hallway when she saw a woman frantically running the other way down the hallway. Tamara looked back toward the swimming pool and saw several people around the pool, including two children lying on the cement, lifeless. Her CNA training kicked in. She ran to the pool to find two girls ages five to six years of age who, who had just been taken out of the swimming pool. They were both unconscious, Tamara said. I ran out and no one was doing CPR, she continued. She immediately started performing CPR on one girl. Then a man came to help her and she moved on to the second girl. The second girl was spitting up water already when Tamara tried to assist her. She said when she left, after rendering CPR, both girls were alert and crying. Tamara said there was a concern that one of the girls might have suffered brain damage, although the other was ex expected to make a full recovery. She left the hotel with a sudden urgency to go home to her own children after helping save the lives of two of someone else's. The little girls, Tamara said, that's the worst experience. I have two little girls. She said she was shocked at how many people reacted as if they didn't know CPR. That was Saturday. Just a little more than 24 hours later, she found herself in another emergency situation. Tamara was near a busy intersection when a pickup truck and a Logan County Sheriff's car collided in the intersection. Once again, her CNA skills kicked in as she rushed to check for injuries. Tamara said the Sheriff's officer was trying to move. He wanted to get out of the car, but when she saw his position in the car, she encouraged him to relax and stay put until emergency responders could arrive. They did arrive and both drivers were transported to the hospital. Way to go, Tamara. Thank you for stepping up and saving lives. I want everybody to please join me today in honoring Tamara Suazo, CNA hero.